Welcome to the 2021 Command Awards Ceremony. Like last year, we're doing things a little differently. This year, we had 130 nominations submitted, recognizing 559 employees in supporting our national defense mission. While we are proud to recognize these fantastic individuals, we also want to recognize all the efforts of Newark Keyport employees. We owe our thanks to you on behalf of the country and the Navy. Now please enjoy the presentation. I can't believe we're shipwrecked on the island. I know. We should try and get help. Let's put a message in this bottle and toss it in the ocean. Great idea. The tremendous team at Keyport is sure to find it and rescue us. It's an emergency message in a bottle. Open it up and read it. Whoa, dude, what does it say? It's from Captain Reddy. It says that he and the technical director are marooned on the desert island and they need rescuing. Captain says to look for an island with an SOS in the sand. I'll get paid enough for this. Let's take it a warrant, Foster. Oh man, this is bad. The captain and the TD are supposed to announce the winners for the CO's award for business support services, CO's award for excellence, CO's Award for Teamwork and Collaboration, and the winner for Lifetime and a Career Achievement. What are we going to do, sir? There's only one thing to do. We need to send a rescue team on a secret submarine mission to find the CO and TD so they can announce their awards. But who can lead the mission? What about Chuck Norris? No way. Let the man enjoy his retirement. What about Steven Seagal? I don't think he was actually a Navy SEAL, but I like where your head was at. What about... Lonnie Schmidt. Yes, great work. Lonnie's exactly who we need to lead the team. Hey Lonnie, it's Warren Foster. I have an urgent mission for you. I'm sending the details now. Wait a second, my computer's updating. Okay, now they're sent. Thank you for your help and Godspeed. It's go time. That's right. The CEO and the TD are missing and stranded as per their emergency message in a bottle. Each one of you has been hand selected to ensure the mission's success. Our search may take us through peril and certainly through many command awards. It's time to get underway. Raise the periscope. Wait, I'm getting something. It's the Making a Difference Award. What have you got for me? The Making a Difference Award recognizes the ability to enable others through leadership, innovation, mentoring, team building, inspiration, and similar behaviors that exemplify the spirit of making this a good place to work. This year's nominees are Robert Fisher, Martin Rankin, Rhonda Robe, Jamie Robison, and the Torpedo Intermediate Maintenance Activity Custom Engineered Solutions Team. And the winner is Robert Fisher. Congratulations, Robert. Good, let's keep looking.
the Outstanding Contribution to Equal Employment Opportunity EEO programs award recognizes an individual or team for their ability to achieve outstanding results, furthering the goals of the EEO program through distinctive leadership, skill, imagination, innovation, and perseverance. The winner will have excelled in several EEO factors. This year's nominees are Dan Baker and LaConte Coleman. The winner is Dan Baker. Congratulations. The Outstanding Demonstration of Continuous Process Improvement and High Velocity Learning Award recognizes an individual or team that collaborates to deliver keyport products and services with reduced cost, improved quality, and or reduced cycle time. This year's nominees are the Dashboard Developer Team, Ordnance Alteration Process Rapid Improvement Team, Surface Ships DMSMS Process Development and implementation team and team Kraken. The winner is the dashboard developer team. Congratulations! The Outstanding Contribution to Safety Award recognizes significant contribution to mitigating a major safety hazard or deficiency long-term contribution to improving safety through awareness and training or by development of new processes. Recognition focuses on timeliness of problem mitigation, severity of the hazard, and level of effort. This year's winner is the eSAMS implementation team. Congratulations! The Outstanding Contribution to STEM Education Outreach Award recognizes a key porter's exemplary support of the command STEM education and outreach efforts. The nominees go above and beyond their expected roles and responsibilities to bring STEM into the community through active engagement. This year's nominees are Enhance, Christina Cooper, Dion Moses, Team Microclimate, and the winner is Dion Moses. Congratulations. The Supervisor of the Year Award recognizes an individual who has created and sustained an environment that encouraged others to provide the quality of service essential to high performance. They developed new insights into situations and applied innovative solutions to make organizational improvements, develop leadership in others through team building, motivation, guidance, coaching, and mentoring. This year's nominees are Andrew Bloom, Gerald Chase, Amy Constant, Lance Mefford, Carl Palm, Julianne Schmidt, Richard Sorensen, and Jerry Williams. The winners are Carl Palm and Jerry Williams. Congratulations.
Lonnie, we're getting some interference. Pull it up on the big screen. It might be important. It's the Rising Star of the Year Award. It recognizes an early career individual who is doing exemplary things for their field of work. The individual demonstrates leadership and has contributed to the development, implementation, and fostering of department operations and or successful programs. It looks like the winner is coming through now. Each of the following employees are hereby recognized as a rising star of Keyport. Congratulations to our winners. The point of the Spear Support Award recognizes the achievements made by both an individual and a team who made significant contributions to the readiness of the fleet to sustain and or improve mission performance. Contributions are in direct support of fleet activities, including waterfront, flight line, and in-theater projects. This year's individual nominees are Jeff Campbell, Alex Karras, Charles Converse, Ben Ellis, Ronald Humphrey, Timothy Marks, Jacob Yates. This year's team nominees are Code 24 Fleet Support Team, Lightweight Torpedo In-Service Engineering Fleet Support Team, Modular Test Vehicle Team, Razorback In-Service Engineering Agent Team, Submarine Imaging Electronic Support Measures and External Communications Support Team, Underwater Communications Depth Sounding In-Service Engineering Agent Team, and the individual winners are Ben Ellis and Jacob Yates. Congratulations, Ben and Jacob. The team winners are the Code 24 Fleet Support Team and the Submarine Imaging Electronic Support Measures and External Communication Support Team. Congratulations. Project Technical Support Award recognizes superior support by an individual who, through dedicated and consistent effort, enabled team success. The award focuses on a member of a project team where the work of several people combined to produce a deliverable product, as opposed to tasking where the work of each individual stands alone. This year's nominees are Shelley Cavaco, Sharon Hike, Trish McAllister, Dustin Padilla, and Betsy Voltz. And the winner is Betsy Voltz. Congratulations.
The Engineer of the Year Award for Innovation recognizes engineers for significant accomplishments in several areas such as design, process development, or innovation. This year's individual nominees are Michael Bonus, Nicholas Johnson, Michaela Stedler, and this year's team nominees are the Hawaiian Magnetic Silencing Facility, MSF, and the Motor Generator Team. The individual winner is Michaela Stedler. Congratulations, Michaela. And the team winner is the Motor Generator Team. Congratulations. The Technician of the Year Award recognizes technicians who exhibit an outstanding level of exceptional and sustained expertise in maintenance, restoration, rebuilding, or renovation excellence, resulting in significant impacts to Newark Division Keyport's mission areas. This year's nominees are Jarrett Ayabi, Jamie Burris, Justin Gautreau, Brian Hammer, Beau Lanfier, Christopher Lawson, Deborah Mackey, Eugene Troyer, Scott Turchin, and Ashley Verones. The winners are Justin Gautreau, Deborah Mackey, and Eugene Troyer. Congratulations to all our winners. The Logistician of the Year Award recognizes a logistics team member who exhibits outstanding knowledge of planning, development, implementation, and management of a program of systems, material processes, or information system support strategies. This year's nominees are Jeffrey Acacio, Keith Armstrong, Nicholas Hagberg, Ian Markham, Jana Moore, Sonia Peterson, Tina Sanfilippo, Christopher Wolzka, and the winner is Ian Markham. Congratulations, Ian. The Project Manager of the Year Award recognizes the accomplishments of a project manager who has demonstrated superior accomplishment in project management. Key attributes of this award, they include the size and the scope of the project, cost and schedule controls, and performance customer satisfaction, deliverables, and communication. There's a lot of nominees. This year's nominees are Ryan Conley, Matthew Corbeau, Lucas Dennison, Anthony Deal, Jason Carras, Shannon Meeland, Jeremiah's story, the winner is Ryan Conley. Congratulations.
The Outstanding Contribution to Technical Focus Areas Award recognizes consistent engagement in efforts to advance the technical health of Newark Division Keyport in the areas of data science, modeling and simulation, and general science technology. This year's nominees in data science are Enhance, Jessica Bean, and the Torpedo Simulation Team. This year's nominees in general science and technology are Airborne Tactical Integrated Sensors Team and Team Honeypot. This year's nominees in modeling and simulation are Daniel Kim, Code 244 Modeling and Simulation Team, Code 253 Model-Based Systems Engineering Team, and the winner for data science is Jessica Bean. The winner for general science technology is Team Honeypot. And the winner for modeling and simulation is Code 244 Modeling and Simulation Team. Congratulations to our winners. This has got to be it. I see an island. There's an SOS in the sand. I see two guys who look very bored and they're playing with a very strange looking volleyball. Good afternoon, Captain Moretti and Mike. We found your emergency message in a bottle, made it here just in time for you to read your command awards. See Mike, I knew the team from Keyport would find us. We have no time to waste. Let's read the awards. The Commanding Officers Award for Business Support Services recognizes those in a support role such as safety, security, facilities, legal, and contracting. These contributions significantly affected the success of a program initiative, support to the warfighter, or the welfare of our employees. This year's individual nominees are Jacqueline Hoffman, Karen Lee, Gina Malloy, and Melissa Rose. This year's team nominees are Code 42 and 40 Bravo Program Analyst Support Team, Infrastructure Service Support Team, Keyport Payroll Customer Service Representatives Team, and PMS 326 Contracts Team. The individual winner is Gina Malloy. Congratulations, Gina. The team winners are Keyport Payroll Customer Service Representatives Team and the PMS 326 Contracts Team. Congratulations. The Commanding Officer's Award for Excellence recognizes an individual and a team demonstrating excellence in achieving customer satisfaction, improving processes, empowering, encouraging, or assisting co-workers, or for any other achievement of significant scope, which has brought credit to Newark Division Keyport or its employees, or has materially aided mission accomplishment. This year's individual nominees are Brad Biddle, Jennifer Lamb, Kelly Quinn, and Victor Small. This year's team nominees 
our Aegis Q70 Reclamation and Reutilization Support Team, Code 42Q Compliance Branch, Columbia Cyber Team, Explosive Safety Security Assessment Inspection Team, Keyport Travel Office, Lightweight Torpedo Fuel Pump Team, Lion Seal Team, Ship to Shore Data Exchange Version 4.0 Team, and the Test Set Team. Individual winners are Jennifer Lamb and Kelly Quinn. Congratulations, Jennifer and Kelly. The team winners are the Columbia Class Cyber Team and the Lion Seal Team. Congratulations. The Commanding Officers Award for Teamwork and Collaboration recognizes efforts to transition projects from an independent mindset to one that is fully integrated across Keyport and with our partners. This includes cross-internal departments, other warfare centers, system commands, and research labs. This year's nominees are AN Bra 6 Antenna Push to the Fleet, DDG 1001 Team, Heavyweight Torpedo Guidance and Control Proof of Manufacture Testing Team, Rapid Prototyping and Experimentation RAPX for Unmanned Systems, Shipboard Electronics Systems Evaluation Facility CSEF Team, Submarine PARM DMSMS Team, Surface DMSMS Team, and the Weld Program Recertification Team. The winners are the AN Bra 6 Antenna Push to the Fleet Team, the DDG 1001 Team, and the Shipboard Electronic Systems Evaluation Facility CSEF Team. Congratulations! The Lifetime and Career Achievement Award recognizes long-term sustained superior performance that has made Keyport and the Navy a better place. The nominees have given our country many years of faithful service and positively impacted warfighters who stand on the tip of the spear. Every one of these nominees created a legacy of service excellence and professionalism. Each of these nominees are an inspiration to the rest of us. This year nominees are Wayne Berkland, Elaine Nakamura, Don Siegel, Jeffrey Stotch, Ken Tyler, Chris Wall, Michael Washington, and Gary Zook. The winners are Ken Tyler and Gary Zook. Congratulations, Ken and Gary.
Okay, gentlemen, come on aboard. We finally made it back. I knew our fellow key porters would come to our rescue. I completely agree with Captain Moretti. This command has demonstrated a level of resolve that makes me proud to be a key porter. I look forward to watching everyone continue a path of success and innovation throughout the fleet. Great work, everyone. Thanks for watching the awards ceremony. We had a lot of great participation and I'm happy to recognize the whole Keyport team. We will also be recognizing the Pacific Detachment Award winners on the week of April 4th. Thank you for what each of you do each and every day on behalf of our nation.